Hey guys, it's Lauren here, popping in today to share with you a layout I'm creating as part of the Hip Kit Club design team. And I was challenged by the team to do a mixed media layout using one of the fabulous stencils we got in our November kits. So I chose that super sweet little star stencil there to add some feature on my layout that I'm creating for you today. Now the other thing that I thought I would do is I would show you how using these beautiful Christmassy November kits you can create a layout that's not Christmas themed. I had this, these photos of my gorgeous girl and her little best friends. They all came for a birthday party sleepover and I wanted to document that and I, and I looked at these kits and they were full of Christmas goodies and then I thought I'm going to have a good look and see what I can do here and so I've managed to create a layout that isn't Christmas themed using all the Christmassy products that we got in our in our kit. So hang in there with me and see how I pull this one off. I know a lot of you guys are doing December dailies and things like that, which is perfect for these kits. But if you're a little bit like me and have special occasions at the end of the year, like birthdays and other significant events, this might be a way you can create a layout uh, using your November kits and uh, manage to document a non-Christmas themed moment. So as you can see, I've picked out that beautiful light grey wash wood grain and I'm going to use that as my base page. And I use the strip, the, um, the title strip, and I just cut that off the bottom and cut it in half and just put it on the side there. And I thought that would just sort of direct your focus to look at the centre of the page. I'm using a beautiful soft pink uh, playing cardstock there in the middle, which is from the Basil, uh, Basil Company, and it's a textured one. It's not a smooth one. And the interesting I think thing I found when tearing it was it it has multiple layers in this paper. So when you tear it, you can actually see multiple layers coming through on your on your edges, which was a really lovely kind of surprise little bonus there uh, for me when I uh, when I tore that because I don't think I'd be able to create that effect uh, without that that multi-layer being within that paper so beautiful high quality basil cardstock has given me that extra little bit of a bonus there it's hard to see because of the light that I that I work under it sort of washes out a little bit of the detail of my layouts but we don't want to look at dull dull scrapbooking process videos or dark ones do we um, so I've just here used some Liquitex white gesso, just the stuff that I have in my stash. Usually on my layouts I use clear gesso, but I thought because I've got a really light pastel theme, um, I could, it could probably handle with a bit of a white wash over that light pink paper anyway. So I just applied that just using my rubber little um, palette thing there, and then I thought it looked too... Um, like the edges were too sharp so I just grabbed a baby wipe and I just blended out those edges of the liquid the gesso just to soften that transition from the white to the pink and because I applied so much gesso I knew that I would have a bit of wiggle room that I still could apply more mixed media and the gesso would still do its job but I'd be able to sort of blend out those edges by pulling a little bit of the product off um, and it still would be okay and do its job like the gesso job. Um, so here I am. I'm just using some of the Pocket Life cards that we got in the Pocket Life kit just to add some borders around my photos. And as you can see, they're Christmas themed. But just by using them to map my photo, I've been able to just stick with that color themes of the pinks, the grays and that little light teal color. And I've managed to be able to... Um, hide all those Christmas little moments there um, on this layout. So just fiddling around there. I usually have a smaller border. I try. I, as you know, if you've if you're a regular to my channel, you'll see that I love mounting my photos with lots of layers, um, and so building layers and clusters and dimension off my pages is usually sort of a signature Lauren move. Um, so here I am trying to do that. I've just used a little tool there that is I've had that little um, 
distressing tool in my stash for a for many years but it was it came out um, by Prima and it it's just sort of does wonders when you're just wanting to rough up the edges of your pages um, in our November kits we got two absolutely beautiful um, Lindy Stamp Gang magical powders and they are in the colors of Cuckoo Clock Cardinal and the this other one is Oompa Pa Pink and that is the Oompa Pa Pink is what you see I've used there just to apply over the top of that white gesso just with a few splatters here and just to create another point of texture for my layout. Now here I am thinking I've got this stencil how am I going to incorporate this in this layout and not take away from what I'm really wanting to do. It is so funny that when I scrapbook and I've got a bit of an idea everything comes together so smoothly but sometimes I sit down and I just start scrapbooking with no idea and those layouts I find that I really struggle with. So this one I've really got some clear ideas about what I wanted to do with it and so I feel like I'm just sort of on a roll I'm just cruising along it doesn't really matter I've got this idea in my head where wherever I put my embellishments it's gonna it's gonna work because the idea is very clear in my head do you guys ever find that where do you guys get your inspiration from do you get it from Pinterest Instagram other YouTubers where do you get um, your ideas from is is it out in the world is it through your moments I'd be really interested to know where you get your primary source of inspiration that assists you to put in um, put your layouts together so share with me in the comments below where that is for you and um, I look forward to reading about it and hopefully there's some places there that I've not heard of and I will tap into a new source of inspiration as well there so in the November kits we all we got these gorgeous frames from little uh, pretty little studio and they were Christmas themed except these little silver ones I'm putting on now so by tucking the edges in I've just hidden those Christmas florals that were on the edges so you can only see the silver foiled pieces there and here I am I'm just framing up using a few more of those just to create that real um, uh, theme running through top and bottom side to side now here, whilst I was doing all those frames, I'm thinking, how am I going to like nail this challenge? And that is to use this stencil and it's a mixed media. And I thought, how cute would it be just to tuck those little tiny stars in under those pages? Once again, it created another level of dimension and um, between my base page and my pink cardstock so it did that job and it also did the job of making a sweet little detail um, that I, I absolutely adore that stencil when I first saw it I thought oh my goodness all those stars are so tiny and they're really close together I, I worry with those types of stencils at times that they're not going to work or you won't be able to see that really clear definition but this stencil it did not have that effect at all and those stars are so sharp and so cute and so close together that this stencil has now turned into one of my all-time favorites and you'll probably be seeing me use it on lots and lots of upcoming process videos because I just thought this is just the most adorable little stencil um, that stencil came in a two-pack which was in the December daily um, December documented kit from the hip kit club so if you're still thinking about which kit to get to document your December and your Christmas moments check that out I'll put the link to the hip kit club website below in the description so if you want to head over there and check out what I'm all these wonderful goodies that I'm using um, please do because you will be blown away so here I am now I'm adding my title and I just called it something wonderful because these girls they are they they are just wonderful and they are such a joy and I know that these photos I can <laughs> having older children I know how important these photos are when they're young because you really delight on these little moments when they get older and so I try to capture as many of these little moments when the girls are all over playing um, to to for, for those future reasons and just to see them grow and their little smiles and it's it's lovely 
These little bows are the Hip Kit Club exclusive bow sets. We've had these in a previous kit in, in different colours, obviously, um, but they are so sweet. You can compile them in all the same colours uh, or you can mix and match them like I've done there just to create a little bit of interest um, and, you know, I guess make them a little bit of a feature. So once again, I like to work in three. So three little bows are going to get made. I'm just going to strategically place them around and, um, and they will just add that little extra sweetness to highlight this little moment with the girls. Um, yeah. So what do you think? What do you think of this non Christmas themed layout using all these, um, Christmas kit products do you think I've nailed it or do you think this has a bit of a Christmassy vibe the other thing is I'm here in Australia and at the moment we are experiencing extreme heat so sometimes when we're using products that have come from overseas and the, um, the company the companies that have developed them are in their coldest winters um, we get a bit of a like we have to use um, products that are cool themed like winter themed and so we try and it's a it's a tricky balance because there's not many companies that are out there doing Aussie Christmas themed scrapbooking products so it's that's another kind of challenge us Aussies sort of have to face um, and some of these wintry wonderful colors in summer don't really suit so that was another kind of thing that I'm trying to balance when I'm using these Christmas kits is trying to document our December but make sure it's not Frosty the Snowman because we don't even know who Frosty the Snowman is. He doesn't touch our Christmas at at all. The poor Santas, Santa's helpers, the Santas in the shopping centres, I have no idea how they sit in those wonderful suits and have photos all the time with the kids. They must just be sizzling. Um, but we do what we have to do here in Australia to keep the Christmas spirit alive. The other gorgeous little embellishment that we got in these uh, the November kits were these little kind of glass. Um, uh, they're not. They're quite thick. They're like little mirrored glass stars, and I knew that they would be just perfect, just to add that final little embellishment and make this layout a little bit magical. And I think they just did the trick. If I could buy these in bulk, I definitely would. I just thought they were delightful and my theme of that pink that light teal the gray like what a great the white what a great color combo um, this layout has turned to be turned out to be if you've got any questions please don't hesitate to put um, ask in the comments below and I'll check in with you guys um, I'm pretty sure this layout's pretty straightforward and if you're interested in um, using this as an inspiration um, I think it'll come together really easily for you and I guess the other thing is let me know have I done this have I aced that non-Christmas themed layout in the um, in the Chris with all these Christmas kits I'd love to hear from you all right guys I hope that you like this layout and I'll be back again really soon with a new video to share with you take care bye Thank you.